Photoshop started the digital image manipulation revolution more than 30 years ago, and Adobe's groundbreaking application continues to be the best photo editing software money can buy. If you need layered image editing, typography, drawing, and a multitude of effects, you need Photoshop. Designers and photographers alike find the most and the most advanced tools available for their crafts in this application. What's new in Photoshop? Updates to Photoshop continue to include features that use Adobe Sensei Imaging AI technology, like mind-blowing neural filters, sky replacement, landscape mixer, and color transfer. More utilitarian tools like cloud stored files and pattern preview have also appeared recently. The latest update, which Adobe calls both version 24 and Photoshop 2023, brings technology announced at the annual Adobe Max conference in October. Highlights include simpler, more accurate object selection, one-click delete and fill, a new way to remove an object from a scene, an integration with Adobe Express. How much does Photoshop cost? To get the latest version of Photoshop, you need a Creative Cloud subscription. Pricing is a little strange. You can sign up for a Photoshop single app plan for $20.99 per month with an annual commitment, which gets you 200 GB online storage. How do you get started with Photoshop? To get Photoshop, you first install the Creative Cloud desktop program, which handles updates and syncs your files online. This is also where you find Adobe News, stock images, and the Behance Creative Social Community. More about it later. This Creative Cloud utility also lets you browse and easily install plugins. The Photoshop interface, Adobe continues to make Photoshop's interface more customizable and helpful. You can choose from among several targeted workspace layouts, including graphic and web, motion, painting, and photography, or you can create your own custom layout of panels and windows. You can even rearrange the program's toolbar button rail to taste. The redesigned star screen offers new file, open, home, learn, as well as your file locations, including photos you've uploaded through Lightroom and cloud documents shared with you. The home icon takes you to suggested tutorials and thumbnails of your recent document. Choosing new file presents a tab dialog offering templates such as texture geometric masks, instant film mockups, and photo collage layouts. Selection tools, selecting objects and people in photos is one of the top functions of the application. And one of the top pain points, Photoshop still includes the venerable lasso, magic wand, marquee, as well as the newer object and quick selection tools. Of note is the new select on hover feature as well as the select and mask workspace, along with its refine edge option. Select on hover offers a nifty way to create masks. It uses Adobe Sensei AI technology to detect all objects in the image. And as you hover over each, it's highlighted for selection. Select on hover works with the object selection tool, which is in the same tool button as magic wand and quick selection. Neural filters, among Photoshop's most exciting recent features are neural filters, which let you automatically change a portrait subject's mood, age, and gaze. Neural here is short for neural network, a subset of AI machine learning. The tools take advantage of generative adversarial networks, which in essence, use the technique of trying to trick the AI algorithm with incorrect or adversarial data. They, tools for photographers, though it's now packed with drawing and font tools, Photoshop got its start as a photo editing and printing application and it remains the most powerful photo editing software, along with its completely photography-focused sibling, Lightroom. Photoshop offers the most support for raw camera files and the most in correction and effects. Sky replacement. For a while, Photoshop had been trailing software such as Sky and Luminar in handling skies and photos. Replacing a drab sky with a beautiful one used to be a many-step process involving manual masking and layers. Photoshop solved that problem with a sky replacement tool that is instant and awesome. You get many choices, ranging from pleasant to dazzling, and you can adjust the position, edge, brightness, and temperature of your chosen sky replacement. Content-aware crop. A few years ago, an app called Anacrop, since renamed to Recrop, gained momentary celebrity in the tech world. Why? As its name suggests, it lets you change the aspect ratio of an image by adding to the sides, instead of simply cutting them off. The Photoshop tool works similarly. Face Aware Liquify. Face detection has reached an increasingly high level of accuracy in recent years, to the point of being able to identify individual facial features, as well as whole faces. This is not, however, to be confused with face recognition, which identifies multiple images of the same person the way Lightroom and other apps do for organizing your photo collection. Camera Raw Features The Adobe Camera Raw ACR module appears when you open raw camera files like those from Canon CR2 and Nikon's NEF. It seems to become more of a full photo editing tool on its own with every Photoshop update, and there's a good deal of overlap between what you can do in ACR and in Photoshop itself. 
Super Resolution The March 2021 release added an intriguing feature called Super Resolution. It uses machine learning AI to effectively double the resolution of your image, which is a great help if you need to print photos that you cropped significantly. The update also added support for Apple's Pro Raw format and gives you more control over the interface, letting you reorder edit panels and sort the filter based on date, rating, and more. Mobile Design and Libraries Photoshop has made great strides in mobile design. Not only can you use views and tools intended to facilitate mobile and web design, but you can also install the Adobe Preview mobile app and see how your project looks on it. When I installed the app on my iPhone, I initially got a connection error. I was trying to connect by USB rather than Wi-Fi, though the Adobe documentation says both methods should work. Adobe Stock Adobe Stock is a repository of more than 40 million images, vectors, illustrations, and video clips. Non-creative cloud members can still buy assets from stock. Creators can also sell their assets and get a 33% cut of all sales. That's not bad, considering that the industry standard is 25%. Video editing You can apply all of Photoshop still image adjustments to video clips, including exposure, cropping, and filters. Photoshop is even capable of multi-track and keyframing using the same fast rendering engine that powers Adobe's Premiere Pro Video Editor. Only a few transition options are available, however, all of them variants of fades. Each video track you add becomes a Photoshop layer that can be individually adjusted. Export and Share Photoshop's export options are richer than ever, and the performance is improved in the latest update. 2. It supports the Operating System's Share feature, which opens Mac OS and Windows built-in share targets. On the Mac, you can use AirDrop, and on Windows, you can use nearby sharing as well as any other installed store apps that accept photos. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.